Hello motorsports fans and welcome back to another Weston Racing TV video. I haven't posted in a year. Ha! Anyway, so today I'm just basically going to be going over my Christmas haul and what I plan to do for 2020. Um, so yeah, here's everything I got for Christmas. Legos, monster trucks, you know. So let's go over the monster trucks. So the first one we got here is One Bad Ghoul, a 2020 monster truck actually. So that one's actually... Pretty, pretty good, if you know what I mean. It's a very nice one. I'm not covering the microphone, am I? Okay, good. I'm not covering the microphone. Okay. Then we got Time Flies. Wildflower. And Spongebob. So that's my mom's trucks that I got. Um, but yeah, those are nice. I, um, so I got this one from my mom. I got this one from my mom as well <laughs> and then these two i bought myself as a gift to myself for being such a good collector <laughs> anyway so now on to legos the first one here is the lego batman batmobile pursuit of the joker 342 pieces with two figures the joker and batman this is really cool because it looks like the original batmobile so this will be fun to put together plus it's got like this gun right here, shoots, and there's even a thing in the back that actually boosts the car. So cool. Speed Champions, my first ever Speed Champions one, and it had to be the best one that they've made yet. Because, just yeah, it's just the best one that they've made yet. I mean, look, you got the Dodge version of Bumblebee and the car from Fast and the Furious, so it's just perfect. I mean, really. I'm surprised they didn't get copyrighted for this. That is so accurate to the car in the movie. It's a car in the Fast and the Furious movie. That's just insane. <laughs> but anyway, yes, we got the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon and the 1970 Dodge Charger RT. That's my favorite one, the RT is. But look at this. You also got these pre staging lights, so you might be able to see some drag racing on my channel in the future. Plus, you got this little figurine right here. And there are three figurines. There's a female, there's a female uh, official, female driver, and a male driver. And then moving up to this one, my second Lego architecture set. And I love architecture. It's just, look at how tiny it all is. It's just amazing. You're taking something that's ginormous in real life and making it tiny, just absolutely tiny. So I got Trafalgar Square in London, England. And just look at this, the fountains, the statue, the castle. Look at the London bus. The London bus just cracks me up. Look at how small it is. And look at the trees and the lights. Look at the statues. Look how small they are. And then this really cracks me up. Those are supposed to be lions. Them little stone things are. Them are supposed to be lions. I mean, you got street lamps and a little car. Kind of looks like a shoe, but <laughs> whatever. And look at this. They even used the egg piece. For, look, from the Angry Birds sets, they use the egg piece to make the... Come on, focus, dang it. Focus. Okay. They use the egg piece from the Angry Birds sets for this. So that's pretty neat, the use of pieces. And just look at the windows. The windows is just the most insane part. Look at how many. And it's 1,197 pieces, my biggest one here. This one's going to take me a while to put together, but I will definitely do a video on it for you guys. Anyway, that's my Christmas haul. Ha, just kidding. That's not my Christmas haul. There's this stuff, too. So first up here, we got this. It's a Star Wars trivia game. I got this from my aunt. So thank you, aunt, for this. This is amazing. Haven't tried it out yet, but it looks pretty cool. I don't know much about Star Wars, but the stuff that I do know could probably get me a few points, maybe. <laughs> All right, and then we got some movies here. The House with the Clock and Twalls. Haven't opened this up yet because we haven't watched it yet. Ready Player One and Monster Trucks, which is fitting since I'm a collector, Monster Truck collector. And then this, I bought for myself. I, I went to Walmart and I caught it on sale when it was $20 and just the Fire and Ice playset. Look at this. This is just amazing. It's got a launcher and it's using a recolored thing from the Son of a Digger set. And now so you get a couple cars, a box to do backflips off of, actually another box to do backflips off of, and you get a World Finals 20 trophy. Three trucks to win if they just so happen to be amazing. But that's not really what caught my eye. What caught my eye is that on the in the box you get Gravedigger Fire. And that's the one that it shows here. But it also shows on the box Son of a Digger Fire. 
Blue Thunder, Soldier Fortune Ice. Or Blue Thunder Ice, too. I already have these two. These two I do not have. Well, now I got this one. But I did not know this. And this actually caught me by surprise when I first saw this. I did not know that it actually comes with all four of these trucks. So not only do I have Fire Gravedigger, but it actually has these other trucks in the box with it. So now I have two of these. But this one's really cool. And something that I did notice is that if you look real closely to the Son of a Digger, it's got camouflage on the rim. The one that I have does not have camouflage on the rim. So this is the corrected Son of a Digger. Or Soldier Fortune. Whoops. And then this is the corrected Son of a Digger. You can tell because look at the flames. They actually go all the way down the cab instead of the one the one that they made into uh, singles. The flames stop right here, but they actually go all the way down the cab. So they did correct that. And that is good that they did do that. But this little white box here, you guys are probably wondering what this is. And uh, these are really cool because I've been wanting these forever. I'm getting outsmarted by a piece of foam. They're magnetic balls. Now, if you don't know how magnetic balls work, they're... Let me get a couple for you. All right. So I just grabbed four black ones. These are really cool. So say, for instance, you just want to yeet one over to here. Oh, man, this is really hard to do with one hand. Okay, so there we go. We got one by itself. Now watch this. That's just amazing. These things are so cool, but they're heavy. They are heavy. And you can do so many cool things with them. Like you can make squares, just like that. Or you can just flip them back out to a singular one. Or if you really want to get nutty with it, you can bend it in all sorts of shapes and forms and create weird things like this. No, oh, it didn't do it. It didn't stay. Hey, yeah, you can do so many cool things with these little balls. Now, what I did to challenge myself is I put them all into a, into a square. That was really hard because there's like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, teal, um black brown there's so many different colors so i got a, i got quite a few I, I think there was a hundred of each color too so i got like a and you think about it i think i got like a thousand beads so that's pretty good that is actually really good you know all right so yeah we'll close that up stay back up there now you're probably thinking you know why are these elevated off the table here they look like they're floating it's because they are floating on top of these so, I got some new video games. I got Plants vs. Zombies, Battle for Neighborville, and Wreckfest. Those are the new games that I got. Well, my sister got Just Dance 2020, and honestly, I've been using it more than she has. It's been it's been really fun, but she I don't I think she's used it three times maybe. I've used it every day since Christmas. It's it's awesome. There's one game that I really or there's a couple songs that I like to do because the dances are good. Like uh, right there, Old Town Road. That's one that I do. And then I do this like every other week because I don't really, I mean, the song is okay, but it's not that good. So I do do it. I just don't really, you know, that much. <laughs> um, Ariana Grande, Seven Rings. The only reason why I do that one is because my sister hates that song. So I dance to it just to make her angry. But my favorite song in the whole game has got to be this one right here. Right there. Shrillix or Skrillex featuring uh, Syra Bangering. That's my favorite one, and I might even do a video of that on this channel because that song is awesome. Just look, go on, uh, just go on to like YouTube or something and look up uh, Just Dance 2020 Bangering and watch the dance for it. And uh, make sure you watch the right one and not the because there's two. There's the normal one and there's the extreme one. The normal one he's wearing a black jacket and black pants, and the extreme one he's wearing like this pink and black and green jacket. So yeah, and on to the other stuff that I got for Christmas this year. So something I've been complaining about for quite a while is, you know, I got this collection set up here and look at that. It's just pitch black in the corner. Well, I don't have to worry about this anymore because I have shelf lighting now. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But look at this. Look at how clearly you can see the trucks now. I mean, just watch this. Watch, watch, watch steer clear. Just disappear into the darkness. Look at that, he's just gone. Whoop. It's like he's Batman or something. He just disappears into thin air. 
And then over here with my collection shelf, look at that, the package glint. Oh, look at that El Toro Loco, that looks amazing. And then over here with my Spin Masters. Love the, I love the posters. The posters have got to be the coolest thing ever. But yeah, over here with the Spin Masters and the figurines and all that. All right, on to the next thing. And then next up is this little guy right here. I haven't found a name for him yet, but uh, look at him. Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? They say, yeah, I got a fish tank and got this little guy. Okay, that's a little blurry if I've ever... Oh, look, he wants to say hi. Say hi. <laughs> he looks dazed. Oh, boy. Now, I know it is really hard to see, but sitting in the blackness, there is a PS4. That is the final thing that we got. And here, here's my... Con this is my controller. It's an all-black one. Yeah. Really nice. And then my sister got a controller. And then this thing that I'm putting them on is actually an auto charger. It makes sure the machine doesn't overheat, but at the same time, it also charges the controllers. It's so cool. So cool. And then here's my sister's controller. It's a white one. Clear and everything. Now, here's something really cool. It turns on with the PS4, So, and this thing is so cool. You turn on the PS4, it turns on the base and the TV. So I'm just going to turn it on just to show you guys the base. Look at that. Look at that. That is just so cool. Give us a little controller thing, and then if you take it off, it stays green. But then, you know, say for instance, I turn the controller on. Let it waste some battery here. Okay, now it's wasting battery. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my controller Okay, that is really loud. Put it back on. Check that out. It even gives you a little charging thing with the with the yellow controller. Sometimes it will go red if you've been playing for a long time. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, that is just, all in all, this is a really neat little setup. So over to the stuff I'm doing in 2020. So due to complications I've been having in my room, um, they're not really complications. I, I intentionally did it to myself. But the, due to stuff I'm doing in my room, this is my new studio. For now. <laughs> For now. Um, so yeah, all this stuff, eventually I'll do reviews on all of, most of it. Right here in this little room. Especially the Lego sets and the monster trucks. Boom. Um, so over to my all new thing, which I call Cloud Peak Arena. Three bags of kinetic sand, die cast cars, and monster trucks, along with these stone, these wooden stone johnnies that I created. Put it together, and what do you get? You get yourself a monster truck arena fit for a king. This has got to be the greatest project I've ever done. I mean, just look at this. It's insane. All the work I put into this. And this is three bags of kinetic sand, and look at this. I still got a giant hole left in it. I think I need, like, two more bags for to fix the hole and detail, detailing and all that. But yeah, this is, I'm going to do a stop motion show right here on this arena, and it is just so cool. And just, so, let me get Brodo's right here. This is a gap jump, so there's a gap right there. You got your crush cars, you got your pop-up jump. It just, I put so much detail into this. I, it, I, it made me cry when I had it all done. I was just like, it's amazing, it's amazing. But yeah, got our fire and ice trucks right here. Told you I had ice blue thunder already. <laughs> but yeah. It's pretty awesome, not going to lie. I'm very proud of myself for this one. So yeah, this will be the first stop motion show of 2020 I do. Drinking some lemonade. <laughs> first stop motion show I'm doing of 2020, which will be right here in Claude Peak Arena. On this very arena that I built. Chicago style racing with a throw in of freestyle. I don't, I'm not going to do two wheel skills because I'm going to reserve two wheel skills for the world finals. Because honestly, I tried doing two-wheel skills just to experiment with it and make stop-motion videos. It's really hard to do. <laughs> like, insanely hard to do. My trash-looking Avenger by Hot Wheels. Boo, Hot Wheels, go Spin Master. The thing that cracks me up, is though, though, is that I don't have a Monster Mutt Dalmatian, so instead I'm using this. Well, I mean, it gives off a Monster Mutt Dalmatian vibe, but still. <laughs> it's not Dalmatian. But it'll have to do. But anyway, back over to the studio. 
So for 2020, it's going to be a rugged year for me because of all the motorsports I'm going to be filming and stuff like that. Just to give you, I think there's like 10 different motorsports I'm doing this year. I decided to go with 10. 10 is my limit of things that I'll do. And of course, the first one going up is going to be Monster Jam. That's going to be the first thing I'm doing. Second thing I'm going to be doing is Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live. Um, third one is going to be Tough Trucks. Tough Truck Extravaganza. That one's going to be that one's going to be cool. I can't wait to do that one for you guys. If you remember, my first video on my channel is actually a Tough Truck show. It was. For those of you who do not know, it was a indeed a Tough Truck racing event. Which was cool. I very much enjoyed that. Enjoyed filming that and everything. And it went so easily. But these Tough Truck shows are going to be even har more hardcore. Because instead of 8, there's going to be 32 trucks on this hardcore track. Where they're going to have to do not only racing, but singles racing. Head-to-head -head racing. Freestyle. I'm pretty sure there's even going to be a stunt event. and there's Or like a high flyers event. And just... And then in the final event, I'm going to be doing like Vegas style racing. It's going to be so cool. I just can't wait to get into it. Event number four is Demolition Derby. I'm going to be bringing Demolition Derby to this channel. Um, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to just be making tinfoil cars. And uh, hold on a second. I've actually got two tinfoil cars already right here, as you can see. Now, the cool thing about tinfoil cars is that when you smash them together, they actually have realistic damage to them. And I think I did a video on both of these, actually. I can't remember which one it was. I, I did like an unboxing video, and then I also at the same time I uh, reviewed these two. Now, I understand that uh, Wreckfest is a video game, but wouldn't it be cool if I could somehow manage it to ma manage to make it look like an actual motorsport? If you know what I mean, just like I don't know, like just take a bunch of cars and actually race them on a NASCAR type track and just wreck them up and stuff like that. So that's going to be event number five, Wreckfest. I'm going to be just doing maybe making some. Realistic looking wreckfest tracks along with you know some realistic looking wreckfest cars and then just wrecking them up and having some fun if you know what I mean Event number six is gonna be battle bots. I have them little hex bug battle bots and I think it'd be cool if we somehow Here at Weston Racing TV if we somehow managed to make it look like Just some awesome battle bots carnage if you know what I mean just actually make a battle bots show and uh, coming in at number seven is an event I was honestly really considering because I thought I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I don't think people would enjoy that. I think they'd kind of, you know, dislike it. But um, what I considered doing, and I need your guys' opinion on this, so put it in the comments if you guys think I should do this. It, wouldn't it be cool if I managed to do a motorsport that really just brought together both racing and stunt driving? So it's called Stunt Car... Or it's it's called Stunt Grand Prix, and what it is is we build these cool road courses, and then we race rally cars and stuff like that on them, really just to have fun, if you know what I mean. And basically, you got to like strike style points and stuff like that. So I think that'd be a pretty neat little event, you know. And then really just going into the simple things that you do in a motorsports channel, like. Drag racing with these cool little stage lights that I somehow managed to time perfectly with my montage here. Um, the stage lights would be really good with that and uh, just drag racing. And, and then coming in at event number nine would be one that I would be considering, but I don't really think I'm going to do it. Like I was thinking about it, but then I'm thinking at the same time, you know, should I do that? How hard, how complicated is that going to be to film in stop motion? So I've been considering it and really I just don't know at this point but really what I wanted to do was dirt bike racing I think that would be really cool to see um and along with dirt bike racing where would where would a show be where would a racing channel be without NASCAR that's going to be event number 10 is NASCAR and so yeah that's basically all 10 of the events you guys are going to see next year i will be doing at least one of every one of those i i think really the dirt biking and the grand prix those are going to be the ones where you might only see one episode of but so be it you know maybe we just won't bring them back next year but anyway thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next western racing tv video it might possibly be that monster jam arena or it might be a wreck fest episode from the game game. I might film a you know some gameplay and race for you. Also, 
I think, and I've, I've uh, also thought about it, and I'm taking into consideration that there are a couple games out there that I like to play where I could possibly break world records in them. So I have been doing that recently. I have been playing these games to see if I can break world records. And I'll get to you guys if I do it, but I highly doubt that I'll be able to pull it off. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is David Weston, signing out. Peace out.